Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at DD, and DD stands for Die and Dump. It is a very nice feature that you use over and over in Laravel. However, today we're going to be talking about the method inside the collection. So let's imagine this. Let's imagine that we had a collection and it contained three or four items in it, but then you had a long chain of method calls right afterwards. Give me a couple of seconds here to set this up. All right, and then finally, we have just a reverse call. Now, this is obviously just a silly example just to demonstrate what we're going to do. So just to go over it, we have a collection with four items, one, two, three, and four. And then we're doing a map operation where we are multiplying each item times three. And then we're doing another map operation, but this time with some keys. And so we're assigning the key to be the item plus 10 set equal to our key. And then finally, we're just reversing the whole thing. Again, just a long chain of silly things to do to this so I can show you DD. So if we run this, you see that that's the final result. However, what if you needed to preview the collection in between each one of these steps, right? So we could say we have step one, this is our step two, step three, and finally step four. What if you wanted to know what the results of this very first step is? In a traditional way, let me show you this very quickly, right? So we could terminate that, and then now you have an error, so you're gonna have to take this and comment it out, and then you can run this, okay? And then you're like, okay, well, what about the second part, okay? So you uncomment that, you remove the semicolon, and now you add it to here, and then you run that, so, as you can tell, this is kind of tedious. Let me revert back to what we had before. And there we go. Okay. So what you can actually do is just run DD. And let's check out the results. Okay. So we know that the results of this first step is the same as one, two, three, four. Okay. What if I want to check the second step? And we interject here and we say DD again. And let's check this out. Okay. So now we see that each of the items times three. And then let's do it after the map with keys to see what the result there is. And sure enough, there we are. So DD is a very helpful method that will help you interject any collection in a long chain and preview what the results are without having to break the actual collection. So that makes DD a very useful method inside the collection class.